Howdy friends, how you doing? Crazy Jason here. Other Jason over here. Welcome to Kakalaki Movie Madness. You asked for it, you have screamed for it, and now it's here. What is here? Our top 20 movie lists of all time. That's right. Even though they change every year, this is where we're at right now. So, yeah, I want to say, I got to give a little bit of, I've got to predicate this with something. Right. This was extremely difficult to make. Surprisingly so. It's hard. First, we start, we were going to do a top ten. Yeah. And um, I was like, dude, I can't. No, it's I impossible. Can't. Because actually, and even in my top 20, I'm going to say there are a good 50 movies that I want to be in my top 20. Yeah. But we had to make some hard cuts. Now, you know, it changes like uh, recent films I've seen like Kick-Ass and Predators. Predators. Those movies, you know, they're my recent favorite movies. But, you know, I have to wait a few years because only time will tell if they... They're going to have the staying power. Right. right. So, uh... Yeah. So, let's, uh... But, um... One, one, one thing is that we don't know... Yeah, I don't what's know what's on, on his list or you don't know what's on my list. Yeah. So. We don't know. So, um... It'd be a bit of a surprise. I can guess... A lot of movies that are going to be on his yeah. list and vice versa, but we don't know for sure. So, who, yeah. who, what do you... You want to start? Yeah, why not? Go ahead. Okay, so my my list starts off with my uncontested number one favorite. It normally, you know, stays. You know, somebody asks your favorite movie, Taxi Driver, without a doubt. Um, second off would be Repo Man. And both of those movies, they don't really have a lot in common aside from, you know, dudes driving around in cars. But uh, they're, they're very both, you know, they're, they're atmospheric. There's, you know, such good character development in both. There's great music in both with Bernhard Herrmann's score and, uh, and Taxi Driver and all the punk rock coolness of Repo Man. And uh, another car movie, Vanishing Point, uh, another car movie, Two Lane Blacktop. Are we um, seeing a pattern here with the cars? Kind of. Um, Star Wars Episode Four, which is just classic, my favorite out of the trilogy. Uh, Watchmen, which is a recent, but hmm. man, I think it's going to stand up over time. Gremlins. Dawn of the Dead, the original, yeah, I love the remake, but eh, not not on the not in top twenty. True Romance, written by Tarantino, and uh, just a great cast. Zodiac, my favorite Fincher movie. I know it's sacrilege, but really, yeah, a seven. It was either seven or Zodiac, and so I went for Zodiac. Um, American Graffiti, and a one that to me is like the. Uh, very closely related to American Graffiti, just overall. Super bad. Ah, yeah. Yes. Um, Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. I know you figure, you know, me, it would just be, like, ten would just be Star Trek movies. If we could just put them all together. Yeah, just, just the, the Star Trek franchise. series. Yeah. Um, the Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. Um, it really, anything with an Ennio Morricone score could fill that spot. I have one with yeah. the Ennio Morricone score on mine yeah. as well. Um, the original John Carpenter version of Halloween, uh, The Road Warrior, Blue Velvet, I have an intense love of all things David Lynch, oh, so it's no, hard no. to pick just one. Uh, Giant, uh, that one some people may be aware of, some people might not. James Dean. James Dean, Elizabeth Taylor, Rock Hudson, uh, your very young Dennis Hopper's in that flick. Great, great, one of the one of the big Hollywood epics from the what I consider the golden age, the the, the late forties, early fifties, that time span. I consider the seventies to be the golden age of Hollywood. But oh, to each his own. Yeah, and then uh, last but definitely not least, Children of Men. Just one of my dude. That was going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because uh, another great film. It, from the recent years. Even some of the small characters in that movie, like Danny Houston and Michael Caine, just pull off such huge performances, and the production design, everything, it just adds up to be a damn near perfect movie. I'm so right there with you on Children of Men. Yeah. So let's head on to your list. Alright, let's get to my list. Now, my top five is just straight up easy, kind of like yours was. Yeah. If someone asked me my top five, it's easy. Alien, The Shining, The Thin Red Line, Manhattan, and Cinema Paradiso. That's definitely my top five favorite films of all time. Now, the next 15 are in no particular order. It's not like 
the one I'm going to read off is number six and then seven. It's just, they're in there. And I had to make some severe cuts. Like, for instance, Maybe. Taxi Driver made, didn't make it in there. Um, Children of Men didn't make it in there. Wow. I mean, well, you know, you got to make cuts. Yeah, you know, you I don't want to make the cuts, yeah. but you got to, um, I guess, if yeah. you're going to do this list. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. The Big Lebowski, Dazed and Confused, Rushmore, uh, Godfather 1 and 2. And I'm cheating a little bit there. Yeah, but, you can, yeah those are but, yeah, pretty fused. Yeah, yeah. A, lot, a lot of people do that cheat, so it's not anything new. Yeah. American Movie, John Carpenter's Halloween. Rocky, got to give it up for Rocky, you know. Uh, Star Trek 09, the Abrams Trek, yes, that's my uh, recent movie that makes it into the nice. top 20. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the Road Warrior, same as, yeah. same as you. Aliens, uh, James Cameron's greatest film. Magnum in my Opus, yeah. yeah. Uh, the 400 Blows, uh, Truffaut's crowning achievement. Yeah. Actually, it was his debut film, but... Uh, Favorite in my book. Evil Dead 2. Uh, yeah. uh, Umberto D, which is, um, I don't know if you would call it obscure, but it was kind of a post war Italian film that I always have like this affinity for these movies, like Wendy and Lucy, that indie film where it's the girl and her dog traveling cross country, and it's just a simple movie about a girl and her dog. Well, Umberto D is the same thing. It's a, it's, a, it's a film about this old man and his little dog. And it's just a very touching, simple film. And I just yeah. absolutely love it. I think that got a Criterion release. I think it right? did. And my wife loves Amy and Lucy, so I can get where you're coming from on that one. Yeah. Uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Um, again, a lot of the John Hughes movies I wanted to cram into yeah. my top 20. But uh, I guess if you're going to represent... Yeah. That's a movie I could put in every day and watch. Oh, yeah. And then uh, Blade Runner. Nice. I think that makes 20. I've yeah. got a lot of scratches out here. so It's a good uh, good, good way to list. And there, there were a lot that were on your list I could have easily included, like Evil Dead... Uh, yeah, I didn't want to. I didn't want it to be too horror heavy. I was trying to balance it out. Yeah, I was trying um, to balance. You know, I was trying to give something to each of my favorite directors, like mm -hmm. Terrence Malick, Francis Ford Coppola, Kubrick, Scorsese. Though I don't think made it on my list. Spielberg didn't make it on my list. Again, it's. I really don't like doing top tens and top twenties. It's, it's kind easy of to like, say like um, your top five yeah. is easier for some yeah. reason, you know. Uh, but it's just hard because there's so many. Maybe we should do a top fifty down the road. We need we need to replace AFI and do you know one hundred years, one hundred movies. It just one hundred days, one hundred days, one hundred movies, yeah. something like that. Yeah, it was yeah, it was kind of. It was kind of agonizing to have to cut some of these flicks out. It was, it was, it just, was hard, yeah. You know, I mean, how do you cut out Goodfellas? How do you... Exactly. Uh, I had to cut out know. Goodfellas. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, how do you cut out The Thing? How do you cut out Annie Hall? Crimes and Misdemeanors. Um, Apocalypse Now didn't make my cut. Yeah. It, you know, uh, because I had The Godfather on there, and I didn't, you know, I didn't have room. I already had The Thin Red Line, which covered my epic war movie, so... Right. No. Yeah, saving. I mean, saving Private Ryan, um, the the Big Red One. So I mean, so many awesome and war it, movies I could have stuck in there. It's just right. really hard. It's really really hard to to do that. But um, well, we did it. That is our top twenty. But by popular demand, right? So, uh, You've asked for it, so we have sat down, gritted our teeth. And banged it out. Yeah. So hopefully you guys will uh, discover some gems in there. I know there's a lot of obvious ones that probably yeah. most everybody has seen, but uh, not not really obscure lists. Yeah. But, um, hopefully there's you know you'll find some gems on there that that you've never seen. Definitely every movie on there is worth checking out. That's absolutely for sure. Yeah. Man. So uh, yeah, that's but, uh, uh, that's yeah. our top twenty. Yeah. Comment below. Let us know what you think, and uh, if you can, we would really like to see some video responses. Yeah. To yeah. find out what your top 20 is. Yeah, give us some of your top 20s, top 10s, top 10 of 010, yeah. or 2010. Yeah, really top 5, you know. whatever you want to yeah. guess. But yeah, we yeah. would love to get a discussion going about these films. Yeah. It would be awesome. It would be very cool to, to check out some of, uh, some of our regulars and, well, some of our not-so-regulars. Just give us your lists. I think it would be awesome to see. That's right. Because you never know what you're going to 
you know. Yeah, that's the thing. It's, it's it's personalized. Yes, there were a lot of on both of our lists. There were a lot of well-known films. Obvious kind of choices. But yeah. that being said, every single film on my list, and I'm sure on you two, had some personal reason for being there. Right. It connected with me on some level. Right, I didn't just yeah. put it because I thought, you know, this is supposed to be a great film. And right. I rec Or maybe even I recognized it as a great film and appreciated it. I don't know. It had to have some emotional connection with me. Yeah. It's something that I could sit down and watch again. Um, not just something that I would have on my shelf collecting dust. Yeah. Or, I mean, like Repo Man for me, it, it caught yeah. me at a certain time in my life that it just connected. Same thing with Taxi Driver. You know, there was a span of time where I was watching Taxi Driver a minimum of twice a week. In you know, some weeks, like every day, I was watching at least part of Taxi Driver. So, you know, it's... Uh, and I had the same kind of connection with, like, Dazed and Confused and Which Alien is also one of my all-time favorites. Shining, I'm surprised yeah. I didn't think to put that on there because the cars, the plot, just the everything, you know? Really takes you and sticks you in the 70s. I mean, right. I wasn't there. You weren't there, but... It's got... I, a, I, I, I don't know. It's just, uh, again, I'm a big fan of atmosphere. Yeah. The, the big big thing for me is atmosphere. And that movie's got it in spades. Yeah. It, Most of know, the movies on both of our lists are, are very... Very atmospheric. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, the thing about Dazed and Confused is, uh, regardless, you know, if you went to high school in the States and probably elsewhere... You're gonna you're gonna find a lot of elements. You're gonna know that guy. You you, you know the guy like Wooderson who uh, you know came back year after year just to hang around right. and be creepy, just to, to paddle the kids and yeah, which get is, his jollies. No, you're yeah. talking about Wooderson. You're talking about O'Banion. You're talking. I'm about talking O'Banion. about O'Banion. You're yeah. t you're talking about. Uh, uh, that's what I love yeah. about these high school girls. I get older and they, they stay the same, same age. age. Yeah. yeah, we we should we could do an entire review just about that movie alone. Yeah, we could both we could we both should, pretty much quote yeah. that movie. Yeah, back that's from, one of those movies that. Oh man, I left Glengarry Glenn Ross off my list. Yeah, and that's a classic too. You Damn. Know? Yeah. But yeah, Dazed and Confused, one of those quotable movies. Yeah, we should. Yeah, let's do let's do a bullshit. Hey, as a matter of fact, because Dazed and Confused has not been released on Blu-ray yet. It has but not. we both have it on HD DVD. Yes. We need to do a bullshit on the HD DVD. Yeah. We, and compare it to the Criterion release. And yeah. We, you know, we can to definitely. Check out your, your Criterion. So, yeah, you can look for that coming up soon because uh, uh, I, yeah. I haven't watched that in a little while. I could definitely deal with doing that soon. Yeah, uh, so, uh, once again, that's our, that's our big top 20. Um, yep. Before the end of the year, we look to do a uh, top 10 of the past decade. Yep. So, uh, of the aughts. Yeah, you'll, uh, you'll have that to look forward to before the new year, and uh, also that dazed and confused that we just popped into our heads. Yeah, we're, we're, out, we're, so. we're, we're probably, as soon as we turn this camera off, we're going to start talking dazed and confused. Yeah. So, yeah that's coming up. Yeah. So uh, Hope you enjoyed, and again, comment. We want to know your top 10s, your top 20s, and if you get a chance, please give a video response. Yeah. Um, as always, we appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time on Kakalaki Movie Madness, baby. Top 20 of all time.